Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT RVing. And this week, it's all about the Hensley. We're getting ready to get out of here and head off to West Virginia. And we wanted to just really hook up and get out of here quick. Once we get to our campground, which is Briar Point Campground at Stonewall Resort, we're gonna show you how we disconnect. And then when we leave, we'll hopefully remember to film <laughs> and get the reconnect. So this video, all about how we use the Hensley. the Hensley. So stay tuned. Now we're gonna hook the Hensley. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tina. So here's what I wanted to show them if they can see oh, this with the I don't sun. Know, the sun glare might be. But we are level, side to side. I don't think I can see that. And without using any leveling blocks. Correct. I like these sights. So here we have the Hensley. And I wanted to show you exactly how we're going to disconnect this. And the first step is going to be, we're going to go ahead, we like where we are, we're level left and right. We're going to get our cross chalks in and we're going to, uh, you know, put them in on uh, left and right side. On the wheels. On the wheels. Yep. So let's do that first. Okay. Alrighty, so the first step's after it's leveled left to right, we're gonna put our cross chocks in. So I'm just gonna put this in between the tires here and crank this out. And I don't tighten these terribly tight, but just like so. And that'll keep those wheels. I would normally together. do the other side, but I'm filming, so I can't do the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and put the other side in. Get back. Yeah. Let's do that. And we keep one of these tools on each side of the, our, it's kind of a mess in here right now, but we keep one of these on each side so we both can do it at the same time. There's our Hensley. So here's the cross chalk. Don't look inside our basement. It's a mess from our last camping trip. <laughs> We're going to clean that this time. Yes. So this side. And that's good and snug. Nice. We'll put this back. All right. I'm just going to jump over here. So now we can start to disconnect. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, get the power cord. We can get our chains. And I would normally be helping yes. on this side because it's a two person teamwork that I'm filming today. One of the nice things as well with having the Hensley is it sits further back so we can actually drop our tailgate without any problems nice. so i really nice. like that as well this is the block i use for the front jack and here's the front jack pad there what we're going to do is we'll set that in there and we'll take actually I'm not sure how far we're gonna have to go. Just breathe. Real close. <clears throat> so we got this centered there. We'll bring this down. Just till it touches. So we just have some weight on it, first off. Now what you'll see is our, uh, I'm going to grab my tool. So the spring bars now are going to need to be loosened up. And if you didn't loosen up the spring bars, you're going to have all sorts of torque being applied to the hitch and you'll never be able to find where it's loose and, and uh, easy to remove the stinger here. So what we're gonna do first off, after we have our jack uh, stand on the block there, we're gonna loosen up these on, on either side 
and the spring bars and you'll see this torque and lift and the truck will move Ooh. so that's loose and especially when I loosen up this side and you see how the truck moved now the bars are nice and loose put that away so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at uh, the receiver and the stinger and what I'm gonna do is either lift or lower and actually I can tell right now if we lift this up I look in this area here and you want to see this move just like that just like that so we know it's ready to be it's ready to be to come out. uh exactly to be removed all right so we have it in its little comfortable zone there so remove the stinger we like it i throw on some gloves and i would normally put on my gloves to help on this side so first off I what we're going to do today. I like this. Is we're going to pull our pins. I usually set them up here or here. And I'm going to set this on here and we'll do it. remove oh. that just like so. Now I'll get my side. We're good. And let's see here. Pop that loose. That's good. Now we have the cross chocks in. Exactly. Do you want to put the the other blocks for the tires in not yet we're good because it won't roll because yep. of the scissor jack the cross cross shock i'm sorry yes so now we are set theoretically this will you can even see it's loose enough in here look at oh, that it just, it just separated out. on its own oh well, that's fine so we're not dropping or anything so now i'm going to just pull the truck forward a little bit and then i'll show you where we'll store our stinger uh... This will just pop right out now that he's loosened it. And we're perfectly level, which makes this so easy. There you go. That's it. So that came and separated nicely. Right, very nicely. And now back with the gloves. I'm going to disconnect the pin here. And we're going to remove the stinger. I'm going to take that and I store that right here. And I'll put the pin right on it. And what did you do there? That's just a bracket that That's you a got bracket that I got at uh, Tractor Supply it's for uh, you know a car or what have you and I just got some U-bolts uh, and Put it bolted there. it in so, so it's out of the way so you don't you know, it's not tumbling around in the back of your truck where you just throw it in or that kind of thing but it's uh, definitely right. out of the way and you won't bump it with your leg because it actually is way out of the way so on the receiver adapter that Comes, I take that normally and I just store it right there. And there so, you go. And I'm hooking the Hensley. Essentially, how you disconnect the Hensley. Nice. <laughs> there you go. What I wanted to share with you too is we use the Level Mate Pro Plus. And as you can see, Oops, I'm in the way. we are level right to left driver's side, passenger side, but we are also, um, we need to go down one inch. So before I even uh, touch the jack now, we know we have it in its perfect place for disconnecting. One of the neat things about this program as well is we can set the hitch position. So you press set and then you set the hitch position. So now, when we need to rehook up the Hensley, as we do is we recall the hitch position. It tells us exactly where we need to be for the perfect level for hooking up. Nice. All right, now we're gonna hook up. Uh, to leave. To leave. And we're in a little bit of a rush because there's a thunderstorm coming. Yeah, here, look, you can see it. 
and you can really, really hear it. So we're gonna do this hopefully quick and easy. So what I wanted to share with you is the Level Mate Pro Plus here. And as you can do is in this hitch position here, what you wanna do is hit recall. And now we know that all we have to do is go up one inch and we should be in line to hook up with the truck. And if we forgot to do this, no big deal because Tina's is a pro at estimating the angle. <laughs> so I'm going to jump in the truck and we're going to try I'm and getting really good at getting the angle. Try and hook this up. <laughs> okay, right, here we let's go. Let's do it. And then finish hooking it up. All right. I don't have my gloves, so I'm gonna let you do it. Yeah, absolutely. Nice hookup. Yeah, totally. So I'm gonna get on this side so we can watch him hook it up. So as he puts on his gloves. So as Tina said, uh, I put it in, put the parking brake on, and this way. The truck doesn't move at all. So what we'll do, let's get just these set up here. Set up and then we have this great tool. Get the over center set there. And then here, I'm gonna just hit this a little harder. There we go. And, we'll put and it. he's hitting it hard, but I can do it without a problem. So yeah. I usually do it on this side. So when you're doing it at an angle, it is slightly harder. And then we hook the chains up. Yep, the chains. Along with the emergency brake, breakaway cable here. Then before we take any weight off of the tongue jack here, what I'll do, oh, better hook this up as well. Oh yeah, that's probably a good <laughs> idea. Our lights and brakes. So there we go. All right, so before we take any of the weight off of the uh, tongue jack here. What I do, bring our uh, jacks up, and we're gonna go with two. We have marks set on our bars. Right there, there we go. And then we'll do the same over here. Look at reach. That mark is gonna go up to two. There we go. Now, so what we're gonna bring this. This goes here. And we want to bring this up above the bars. So now we'll just take this out of the way. Put our pin back in. And we are ready to rock and roll. Well, we have to take out the cross, cross chalks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's yes. the very last thing to do. Yes. Anytime we're hooking up or disconnecting, we're gonna have the cross trucks in so the bell doesn't move. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And I'm gonna take them off on this side. But I don't have my gloves on. So hope we take our little fancy tool here. And then take the cross trucks off. I don't know if I can do this with one handed. Maybe. We'll see. See, it's already rolling. But we're, it's okay because we're all hooked up. And I just did that all one-handed. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> Can't look inside our basement. Because it's getting ready to rain, we kind of just threw everything in. So now I'm going to close it. And lock it up. Okay, so we're all hooked up. Now, mm -hmm. as we're gonna do is, I'm gonna fire this up, and Tina's gonna 
go back and do a little light check, make yep. sure we're safe when we're going to head off. After I lock up my doors, but yes. I'm going to hand you the camera. There you, you go. Do the... That's fine. The trick is figuring out which key it is. <laughs> As we're leaving, we just went through in our, uh, well, verbally and in our heads. Our checklist. Checklist. Stairs up. Door locked. Handlebar in. Short shower door locked. Awning. Awning Refrigerator. in. Refrigerator. Slide in. We won't want to be those people driving away and not realizing it. So we do, like, quadruple checking. And we both walk around and double check each other as well. Yeah. So there's no single person to blame. It's both of us. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Well, we made it home safely with our Hensley Hitch. Once again, the Hensley didn't let us down. What a great purchase this has become. We ended up purchasing it from who are now great friends, Dwayne and Dina, the best of us, the Floros. Check out their YouTube channel. And I'll, they, put, a, I'll they, put a link yeah. on, it, on our uh, description here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we bought it from them on Facebook Marketplace. We bought it used. They are expensive, so if you can find it used, go for it absolutely most people who are selling them also it's not because they don't like it it's because they're upgrading to a fifth wheel which is what Dwayne and Dina did or they're getting a class A or what have you so it's a great product so like I said once again the Hensley did a great job we we actually came through some rough weather on the way home here and we had, uh, we had no troubles with had that. no troubles so appreciate you watching this video I hope you found it helpful and if you haven't already subscribed to TNT RVing, I appreciate it if you would. And we'll see you at the campground.